Hi, I'm Mr. Gonzalez, and today we're going to draw our hands. And we're going to use straight lines and curved lines, just like we've been practicing, so we can get results like this. Pretty cool, huh? This one I use some markers that are warm colors, yellow, red, orange, that kind of thing. And in this one, I just use black and white. You can use whatever colors you want, but let me show you how to get started, all right? Hope you enjoy this lesson. Taking a closer look at these drawings, you'll notice that all around the hand are straight lines, and inside the hand, you have curved lines, and they're all curving up a little bit. So keep that in mind as we begin. And don't forget to pause the video every now and then to give yourself some time to work. All right, so all you need is your paper and a pencil, and I encourage you to use some markers. You can have markers or colored pencils, even crayons will work. But we're going to draw a hand and we're going to use lines to make it look 3D. So put your hand down on the paper in the middle, use your pencil and go ahead and trace around your hand. And you could, you could even trace your wrist too. Take your time, go slow. Great, that's my hand. <laughs> All right, so what we are going to do, we're going to draw a line like this and then when it hits the edge of our hand, it, we're gonna go up, drawing a curve, until it reaches the other side. And then we're going to continue drawing that straight line across, okay? So we're going to do that here, in the middle. Now, that's just one curve line, right? Once we get to the fingers, let me show you what we're going to do. So if you have a line that's coming across, it's going to hit the edge of the finger. You're going to go up and down, and then straight, go up and down, and then another curved line. And that kind of starts to show you the 3D form. Here it might be a little complicated, but it's the same principle. Straight line, up and down, straight line, up and down, straight line, up, and down and you just repeat that as best as you can the wrist also great now, once you have some lines that you're happy with, I'm going to show you how you can add color. Or maybe you don't wanna add color. All right, so I have a pink marker here. And really, you're just choosing a certain line. You can draw on the line that you put down with pencil. And hopefully you begin to understand that you can use any color you want and as long as you're just having some fun. So don't forget to put the cap back on.
Oh, I forgot to tell you. These lines up here above the hand are just going to be completely straight. All right. I guess this one can be one curve. Another curve. So I sped up the video here just to save a little bit of time and you'll notice that I continue to draw straight lines until I reach the hand and then I draw a curved line. So go ahead and draw lots of lines to fill up your paper and I look forward to seeing what you all do. So you can see that I used straight lines to show what was flat and curved lines to show the volume of my hand. So it creates the illusion that my hand is there. So I hope you enjoyed that and now is a good time to pause the video before I show another demonstration of how to draw a three-dimensional hand with line. All right, I'm going to trace my hand again. <laughs> All right. Now, when I choose to draw the lines, I'm just going to go from the top down and I'll use just a black marker. So here goes. Now here's where it meets my hand for the first time. So I draw a little bump. Same thing here, a little bump. 
And it's like it's a line that's once it hits the edge of my hand, it has to jump over to the other end and then go straight and it jumps again and it goes straight and it jumps again. Oh, the light shut off on me. <laughs> oh, I got to get up and make it turn on. Well, I think I'm about done. Let me bring it down. Ta-da! <laughs> so I hope you had fun with that. And just as an example, I wanted to show you that you can also do this with other shapes, like a heart. And you don't need to just draw straight lines all the time. You can have fun with color, pattern, and even put things like uh, designs inside the stripes. All right? I hope you enjoyed this lesson. All right. See you next time.